Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome here at Mad About Skin. We're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click that link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing future content. Now, in today's video, we're talking spot treatments and drying lotions. I was going to, well, I was debating whether to film this video now or wait, and then right on cue, my new friend arrived, this is it, appeared out of nowhere this morning, and it's a great opportunity for me to demonstrate some of the products I would use to get rid of it. The two best-selling blemish treatments on the market at the moment are the Eradicate by Kate Somerville and the Drying Lotion by Mario Badescu. I'm going to talk through in this video what drying lotion spot treatments do, how they can help with a blemish, and ultimately which is the best one to use if you do want to incorporate one in your skincare routine. So without wanting to, to create like a 20 minute video, let's just get right into it and talk about what these claim to do. Well, spot treatments and drying um, lotions traditionally have um, a few key components. They normally have a salicylic acid and alcohol base. Salicylic acid being fantastic at drawing out the excess oil, the sebum, the dirt, the debris from within the skin. Um, fantastic for um, acne sufferers and a real way of trying to clear the skin. They also usually include a base formulation, something like bentonite clay or kaolin or sulfur, something which A can act as a bulking agent but also has drying properties to be able to take and draw out some of the gunk and the debris and the bacteria which is creating that whitehead. The theory behind them is instead of squeezing the whitehead, which by doing that you're actually creating a tear in the skin, you're creating damage um, to not just to those cells but the cells around it and actually could be creating longer term problems, instead of squeezing the zit you are drawing the pus out in a much more natural and safe way. The science behind this is really well documented and I'm fully on board with it. However, not all spot treatments are created equally. I've had oh, acne for probably 20 years now, on and off, gets better, gets worse. Um, and I've been using spot treatments for the duration of that. I started out with Clearasil, which ugh, was a terrible product. Thankfully, their spot treatment has actually been discontinued, so you can't get that anymore, which is great because it was awful. Um, and now I tend to use the Eradicate by Kate Somerville. So I'm going to talk through the pros and cons of both the Eradicate and the Drying Lotion by Mario Badescu and work out really whether these are actually going to help and are worth the money. So the Eradicate, um, which I've got here, and I'm actually going to be demonstrating on this zit which I've got here. Now what you do is you take a cotton swab and you put it into the product, into the pink solution. The liquid is the salicylic acid and then you dab it on the zit there. You only need a very thin layer of this and it stings. When you put this on the skin, it tingles. The idea is that you should just hit the spot and try and minimize the um, area around the zit, the healthy skin that sits around it. That's not actually possible, but it, minimize it as much as you can. So the Eradicate costs £22 here in the UK, around $25. So really an average price point for a treatment like this. It will last you about a year, possibly a little bit more, but you've got to look at the um, use by dates on all of these products. So you're getting a year's worth of product for around £22, which isn't too bad. This has a the highest percentage of sulfur which you can have in a product without a prescription at 10%. Sulfur is fantastic because it's an antimicrobial, so it'll help to keep um, some of the uh, microbes, the bacteria, at bay in the skin. It also um, dries the skin out, soaks up the excess oil and sebum, which can make the whitehead worse to sort of stop it in its tracks, and also will act as a way of um, drawing out some of the impurities that sit within that whitehead. So I love that. It's got 2% salicylic acid in as a BHA exfoliator, which is the standard for salicylic acid really really great um, addition to again just help regulate that oil and draw out some of the impurities that sit within that clogged pore it's also got zinc oxide which we know if you've ever heard me talk about the niacinamide and zinc by um, the ordinary is a fantastic fantastic oil balancer and acne treatment and finally it's got magnesium paste in there magnesium is wonderful as a drawing agent it used to be an old sort of old wives remedy if you've got like an infected finger or whatever, you put magnesium paste on, put a band around it, and the magnesium will draw out all the pus and gunk from the finger to um, help with the infection. Works exactly the same way um, with a pimple. I would use this, it says you can use it up to three times a day. I would use this once a day on a night before you go to bed. And when you wake up, you genuinely see a reduction in the size of that zit in the morning. My issue with it is it stings when you put it on, which I guess shows it's working, which is fine. Um, but my issue, I think, with it is you still will be left with a white head in the morning. And if you don't want to walk around with a big white head on your face, you're still going to have to either pick, peel or conceal it. So 
it's not going to eradicate the need to do something with it in the morning, but it will certainly reduce the size of the whitehead. And I usually say it'll knock off about one to two days off the heel time off a zip. That's quite good. I like that. This product is way too strong to use all over the face. So if you've got multiple breakouts going on, you're not going to be able to use this product all over the face. It's too strong and you won't get the benefit from it and it'd be quite difficult and time consuming to do. And um, there's better treatments out there. Where I do think it comes into its own as a product is for those that just get the single breakout, that pesky zit that you want to deal with, pop it on and it will genuinely take down the amount of time which um, it takes for that to heal and to remove the pus and the whitehead from the zit. It's much kinder to the skin than squeezing. So in that sense, I'm all in favour of it and I think it's fantastic. Do I think you need this product in your life? No. However, if you do suffer with the occasional pimple, it is nice to have on the shelf just as a spot treatment before you go to bed just to take some of the life out of that zit love this product. I'm going to rate this product 8 out of 10. The reason for that is it does work. It definitely delivers a reduction in the amount of time it takes for a zit, a pimple, a blemish to heal, which I like. However, I don't think it's essential. You could um, find cheaper alternatives out there. Just dabbing some salicylic acid on the skin, to be honest. Um, available for like £5 at most drugstores would probably do enough um, to reduce provide a similar result in the morning. Um, it's also a little bit on the messy side. If you roll over, if you put it on the side of your face and you roll over, on the morning your pillow's all pink, which is the colour of um, the product. So you're going to be a bit mindful of that. But 8 out of 10, a good product. Now onto the Mario Badescu. Now anybody that has watched this channel before knows I hate Mario Badescu as a company. I did a whole review explaining why. I'll link it up there. So I won't rabbit on about that in this video. Check that out if you want to know a bit more behind the background behind the brand. I hate the brand. Doesn't mean I hate all the products that sit within it, however. So their drying lotion claims to work in a very similar way to the Eradicate in that it combines the salicylic acid and a bulking agent to dry out the area, draw out the pus from the skin and to um, reduce the heal time of a blemish or a zit. Works in the same way but very different ingredients. So the similarities are alcohol and salicylic acid based. So that's fantastic because whilst a lot of people say oh, alcohol in, we, you avoid alcohols in um, skincare. Yes, you do, but not in a drying lotion. The reason we avoid it in skincare is because it's drying. So in a drying lotion, it's absolutely fine and it's got a right to be there and it's actually adding something to the product. So alcohol in this sense is absolutely fine. Um, it's got sulfur in there, but at half the concentration of the Eradicate. So sulfur is really the key driver, I feel, for these products. You could just get a salicylic acid and put it on for half the price. So if you're going to be spending more money, and this in the UK is £16, it's $20 in the US. Slightly cheaper than the Eradicate, but a lot more expensive than just a salicylic acid that you could pop on the zip. So it's the sulfur that's really doing the heavy lifting and the work in these products. It's at half the concentration of the Eradicate. So you're getting half the benefit, and I think that's a big big con for me when it comes to this product. It's got the zinc oxide in as well and it's got salicylic acid in. The salicylic acid is also at a weaker concentration than the eradicate. You kind of see where I'm going with this. It's not it's just not going to live up to the hype of the eradicate, um, the eradicate treatment, which actually does work. Now, my main issue with this and why I haven't bought it or used it is two, well, there's two reasons. First of all, it contains talc. Now, there's been a huge worldwide scandal around talc. There's a class action lawsuit going on in the US um, at the moment around whether it's a known carcinogen and whether it has impacts on body and whether it just shouldn't really be in our skincare and we shouldn't be using it. I'm not going to comment on that in here because it's ongoing and there's lots of science and counter science. Read up for that yourself. But I just don't see there's any need for talc in skincare. Just taking aside whether there is a detrimental impact to this product, the use of this ingredient in skincare. Putting that aside, I just don't think it adds anything to skincare. It it, it really doesn't do much for skincare. It's quite an old fashioned ingredient that I just don't think we need. So I really don't like the fact it includes talc because I think this is what makes it excessively drying. So this product dries your zit out and your surrounding skin way more than the Eradicate does. And yet most of the concentrations of the drying ingredients are lower. So that can only be down to the talc and it's not adding anything other than excess drying. And I just don't like this. Pro I just don't like it being in the product. It's also got titanium dioxide, not magnesium paste. So their base is titanium dioxide oxide as opposed to the magnesium base. Magnesium is way more effective in drawing out things from the skin. As a drawing ointment it works way better than titanium dioxide and therefore again you're just not getting the benefits that you would from the eradicate. Bear in mind the eradicate's only four pounds more. I just think yeah I just don't think this product is as great. I'm going to rate this as five out of ten. It will definitely dry the skin. 
the reason I'm knocking points off is one, um, the talc. I, I, it doesn't belong in skincare. I don't know why it's in there and I absolutely hate it. So I'm knocking a point off for that. Um, it's so drying to the skin. If you get it on the skin, if you get the eradicate on the skin around the blemish, it goes a little bit red and then it goes away like that. So it's fine. If you get this on, it starts to peel and it goes red and it stays that way for quite a long time. So it's actually quite damaging to the healthy skin around the blemish, which I hate. And overall, I didn't like the smell or the look of the product as much. It's just not as good. Five out of ten. And I think that's in keeping with the Mario Badescu line. <laughs> just love it. It's not that good. Um, I would definitely fork out the extra four pounds, the extra six dollars to get the eradicate if you want to use a spot treatment. So in summary, do I think you need a spot treatment or a drying lotion? No, I absolutely don't think you have to have it in your skincare routine. It doesn't work for cystic acne and it doesn't work for large scale facial breakouts. If you are somebody that gets the occasional pimple and you want to treat it rather than pick it, which obviously is the better way forward, then yes, a drying lotion will help and it's a reasonably inexpensive way of achieving that. Definitely go for the Eradicate over the Mario Badescu or some of the other ones out there, but if you can't afford £22, $25 for the Eradicate, don't worry. Get a cheap salicylic acid. The ordinary salicylic acid um, mask would work. Um, you could get the Inkelis salicylic acid um, gel. There's loads of salicylic acids out there for under $10, which would do exactly the same thing. Pop it on, it'll reduce the life of that zit, it'll speed up healing, and it'll remove some of the gunk from the zit, which means it's less likely to require a good old squeeze. I hope that makes sense, and I hope you understand from this video a little bit more about drying lotions, the mechanism of action, and which ones to go for. Overall, there is only one. If you want to get your hands on a drying lotion, go for this Kate Somerville Eradicate. If you don't want to spend Kate Somerville money, I totally understand that. Just get yourself a really good salicylic acid. Um, I would recommend the Inculist. I'd recommend the Ordinary, but their actual 2% salicylic acid gel has been out of stock for oh, years. It seems like years anyway. Um, but you could use their salicylic acid mask, which is just as strong and just as good. I hope that hopefully this makes sense. If you've got any questions about drying lotions, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And let me know what your go-to is. Am I totally wrong? I do love Mario Badescu. Let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Um, and let me know which of these you've used, if any of them. Wherever you are in the world, guys, take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.